would be wonderful if jurisdictions around the world had a shared sense of the concept of green. Um, it's, it's challenging, right? I mean, there are some places, the European Union being a very good example, that have thought long and hard about what it means to, to be green. And in fact, the European Union has a, a very granular, very detailed um, taxonomy of permitted sort of activities that can be called green or products that can be called green. It's quite definitive. And so when Europe implements regulations around, for example, disclosure or the assessment of, of, of risk, then these are in reference to the taxonomy or if you're going to get credit for a green activity or subsidy for a green activity, it has to comply with these, these definitions. Other parts of the world have different ways of looking at it. China has its own green taxonomy, for example. Other areas are a little more um, relaxed or, or laissez-faire. The United States doesn't have a, a green taxonomy and there aren't really plans in the works to develop something like that. So getting to a global definition of what is green is a tremendous challenge and it also reflects kind of the political dimensions of this. Is it, na is it a national priority for your country? you know, to advance a, a green agenda, and if so, how do you choose to go about it?